Hi guys, this is Bella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, some of you guys have been requesting this and I was like, honestly, why not? Why not talk about all this? Why not dive into this issue since I've been talking about other TikTok live scams? If you guys don't know, a lot of you are here from that, which is great. We have talked about Pearl MLM scam, Pearl TikTok live scams. So those we have covered in two different videos, really talking about how there is a, in my opinion, a scam right behind and attached to these lives, which is a huge problem, which pretty much made me fall down a rabbit hole, which I love. I love falling down rabbit holes and be like, oh my God, I'm finding this entire new world of things I can discuss. And honestly, what's really also disappointing about this though is whenever I find one thing and then I finally fall down this rabbit hole, I'm finding a ton of new scams or unethical things happening that I didn't even know existed or was a problem to begin with, or there's not a lot of content maybe talking about it, which is really just disappointing in general because like, oh my God, wow. Yes, we found that there's more scams that we can talk about, but there's more scams. We are gonna be talking about the Crystal TikTok Lives, my take on it, personal experiences, and so much more. Again, you guys know, if you've aimlessly scrolled on TikTok, sometimes a live pops up, and some of those lives can be shopping lives. TikTok shopping has been really popping off recently, and with that, though, does come some scams, as we've been finding out, sadly. So we're gonna dive into the Crystal TikTok world today, so don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. My vlog, channel, podcast, and merch, and so much more is in the description below, and yeah, Let's get into it. So these crystal TikTok scams. I was on the tick I was on TikTok the other night, just kind of casually scrolling, and I actually found one of these. So I stopped and really watched it and kind of just tried to figure out what really was happening. So let's set the scene for those of you who may not know about this. So get on the live. There's an individual that is talking. Usually there is a shit ton of crystals and things behind them, and then they have it looks like this kind of and again. If anyone knows the proper term of this, let me know. It looks like this type of like cycling slash sifting machine that is essentially shifting and sifting. I don't know why that sounds funny. It's moving around a bunch of crystals, but there's like rocks or just something mixing it in to where all you don't see all the crystals rolling around at the same time. So there's someone that's talking and apparently packaging orders and scooping out crystals. So the concept of this is you are able to order from the shop and they're able to scoop crystals. Now it's kind of like a virtual way, like a claw machine, which honestly, that makes so much sense. I'm going to be honest. That's the first thing I run to when it comes to a Dave and Buster's, okay? I'm go into that claw machine. Probably gonna lose. Yeah. But do I want to try? Fuck yeah. It's fun. It's addicting. I get it. So the concept of like the virtual claw machine has essentially been transferred over to these TikTok lives to where the individual will get this kind of basket and scoop through, get some crystals and dump it into this little straining thing where then the sand or whatever substances around it will kind of like filter out. And then you see the crystals that you got. So it looks like the price range for different shops is really varying. I think usually the starting amount is around like 40 to $50 which is like, okay, not horrible, not bad. As myself, an individual who really does like crystals, I think they're really cool. In fact, I literally have some. Right back, you see that? Well, maybe, okay. They're back there, okay? I have a bunch throughout my house. I think they're gorgeous, they're pretty, and they're fun. And so the concept of wanting to purchase crystals and see the magical surprise that you get sounds so much fun. So honestly, I probably would have fallen for this one. Scooping out, there's also different options where sometimes people buy two to three of these scoops, and so you can get multiple different scoops. Sometimes the shops advertise that they have bonus items for first-time buyers, so you can get additional crystals. And overall, it's really great. It's something that is catering to the TikTok crystal demographic, which is actually really large and especially took off in the year 2020, which I vividly remember. And again, if some of you aren't aware, when it comes to crystals and crystal TikTok, there's many different people that have different beliefs, different religious beliefs, non-religious beliefs, etc. And so many different people believe that crystals can have healing powers or can pretty much offer like good energy, good vibrations. Now, right here, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not here to debate on that at all. I personally have a very strong belief that as long as you're not hurting anyone with your your beliefs and if it's just your own personal thing and you're just vibing I don't care like as long as you're not being like weird or hurting people or replacing actual like scientific and like medical advice for healing and things like that then like I have at it man they're sparkly and they're pretty I have a ton of my house I get it but that's what some people really believe in and then some people just want it because again shiny things right and so it has been really popular with these lives popping off getting insane amounts of likes and views and some specific shops actually really blowing up now the problem with this entire situation is 
as we know, when there's good things that come along, there's always some sort of negativity that comes along and there's been some alleged scamming. So with these lives, if you do purchase one, let's say, and you purchase a scoop to however many you do, uh, you are able to have it to where they pretty much show off the crystals and what you're getting during the time as they're packaging it up, quickly rattling off the name of it maybe, just kind of quickly showing you what it is individually so that way you can get a good visual of like that's what you're getting. Also, some of them actually will show the final bag. So they'll have it to where all the crystals are inside of the bag. You hold it up right there and you're like, oh, look, this is all the stuff you got. And so a lot of customers naturally, they're screenshotting it all and recording it because, you know, it's fun. That is so, so significant and helpful because many people have started to do this and they're not getting what they've been promised. And again, really quickly before we dive into some of the customer experiences, I want to, of course, pop up the definition of a scam, which is something that I want to make very, very clear before getting into this. Again, I think it's important to discuss what the actual definition of a scam is because of course not everything is a scam but if you are being promised or told that you're going to get something and you're not getting it at all or you're getting a horrible horrible version of it and the customer service is bad things along those lines then you're being scammed pretty much and so keep that in mind as we are going through this video and you can pretty much determine if you think that this is a scam or not so I'm actually going to be reacting to a customer's experience here real quickly when she talks about how she received crystals that were horrible or not actually what she saw in the live so I have the screen recording. Watch and we'll talk. First and more pasta? Yes. Wow. More fish eggs. 2011A. One skip for me for dinner. One skip? Oh gosh. Something really big. Okay. Oh, not bad. You had a light tree? And, okay, one bracelet. You have honey cow size of beer, plum some. Wow, you got more. The chameleon power and the kitty, kitty, moon shades, and little scouts and the mushroom. Check it out. That's amazing. Next, 2011. So first of all, I have no sphere, I have only one cat, I have no mushrooms, the palm stones, I only have four and there were more in there. And I only have three little moons and she had like five or six. And one more thing, please. So for the last time, this is what I got, and clearly I'm missing stuff, but this is not real. I don't know if you can see, but that is a print. That is not a real stone, so garbage, print, garbage, print, garbage, fucking print, garbage. This ones are real, and I'm bummed out, but I'm over it. Don't buy from these people. They are scamming you. If you got your full order, I am so glad, but nope. So to end this chapter of the scam that these people are doing, um, it's annoying. It's annoying because a lot of people are spending $40 and they're trusting them to send them what they're pulling, and it's not real. Um, and they're not sending the full order. So this is my experience. Uh, you can come at me or you can tag them. I don't care because they know and they follow me. They haven't commented and they, when they try to reach me, they said they could refund me $8 for shipping. I'm going to actually pause this and let's talk about a couple things when it comes to this individual's experience and then we'll get into more. Firstly, I do want to make this very clear because I do have sometimes some people that are like, well, it is your own fault if you get scammed. And I hate that argument, okay? Whether you're naive or not naive, someone should have the human, the basic human decency to not take advantage of you. And I'm going to be honest, even though I talk about scams years ago, I literally fell into a job scam at one point. Everyone honestly is easily vulnerable to fall into scams. Anyone can get scammed. So so if you are someone who has been scammed, please do not feel stupid. It happens to literally anyone, okay? This is why I talk about so many scams on my channel because there are so many. It is really hard to figure out what's a scam, what's not, and protect yourself. And that's also why I talk about these videos because I don't want people losing money. I don't want people falling for BS. And I want people to just 
be really cautious when it comes to spending their hard-earned money. So with this exact story, first of all, I also would like to say that I was really happy that she discussed and showed her screen recording, which again is really, really helpful because evidence is key. But showing on that screen recording, she showed how there was many, many different crystals. That was a ton of crystals, okay? So she should have had a very hefty box. Looking at some of the visuals when she unboxed it, majority of what was in the box was actually bubble wrapping and packaging, which again, properly packaging the items that you're shipping to someone is very important. However, majority of the package was way was literally just wrapping, which was a huge red flag in my opinion. Seeing the major drastic difference of the live versus the actual package that she got is gross. And then additionally, there are so many different comments throughout this entire topic that I was looking through where they will say, they switched my whole scoop. I disputed it with PayPal. And then someone said, did PayPal cover it? Wondering if worth the effort to mess with PayPal. And still there was no response to that. There was even other comments that had said, I'm glad I saw your comment. I was literally about to order from them. Another comment saying, well, are these real crystals? Probably not. I just got scammed, nothing like what they scooped. And then another comment said, I've ordered many times and always got what I ordered. Reach out if anything is missing if you have proof. And so the really big problem with that is, is there's many different crystal accounts and just lives that are constantly going. And so it's kind of hard to figure out which one is going to be reliable and not. And so it's really disappointing because there's been several different ones specifically. Like I've heard Highland Crystals, I believe is a very common name one who has allegedly been a part of scamming. Now I wanna watch another one real quickly. If you've ever ordered from one of these sites, you've maybe had a good experience, but majority of the time you haven't. Put on this site number one. Two more to go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Two more. You got a one. Mega tower and two spear. Let's get you different. Two. Number, 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 number two. Whoa. Let's get you some holder. I see the holder. Number, that's number, whoa, whoa, whoa. Number, no, number three. Oh, I dropped the bracelet. Wait a second, I'm gonna bring that to you. Boom. Okay, stop. Yes, yeah, stop. I give you my bracelet. Okay, got it. So that was my scoop, and at the end, this is a screenshot I took. That's a pretty good haul for 90 bucks. And I patiently waited for three weeks until my package came the other day. And this was what was in it. Now that's definitely less than what I paid for. And on top of that, the tree is actually a free gift. Along with that heart up there. And this crystal over here, but that one's actually broken. There's the broken crystal. So I messaged them. And I say, hey, so I opened my box and I was missing a couple of things. Is there another box coming? Here's my order number. And they're like, oh my goodness, so glad to hear you got it. Please confirm that you've checked every part of the box. Dude, the box isn't even that big. And they asked me to send the video that I took along with the picture of the crystals, which I did, and me weighing it because it was supposed to be 7.8 pounds. So I weighed the box and it was 7.2. And the sad part is 0.6 of the weight was just all stuffing. Legit, they stuffed cardboard pieces in there. So I asked that they send me the stuff that I bought. And they said, uh, if you go buy another order, we'll send you the stuff that you're missing. So wait, you want me to buy more from you to get the stuff that I already paid for? So I asked for a refund. Now this is how they do refunds. By the way, this is just partial of what's actually missing. Much of it, you can't even see what's missing. And this is the math that they do. So I get after them and tell them that I'm missing a moon. I'm missing two more of these holders and two more spheres. The total refund was $26. Now, as you could tell, majority of my items were missing, which means I paid $90, but two thirds of my orders only worth $26. So what they do is they keep intentionally. And then when they give you a refund, they give you about a third of what you paid and they pocket the rest. It's a legit scam. They are doing this on purpose to get extra money. That's how they keep their prices so low. And if they do this to every five customers, they can take a lot of money from you. So again, like I'm showing you guys right now, there are so many different TikToks and accounts and even people that are talking about being scammed, not getting what they said that they were going to, receiving really faulty products, even not even half of their order. And so additionally, there was another customer as well that I'm gonna show up here where she actually showed that she really argued back and forth with the customer service and the customer service was horrible, mind you, and kept trying to blame this customer for the businesses not sending the proper products. They actually had the audacity to be like, did you look through the entire package? Like, please be for real here now. How how, how much can you look through a box this big? Like, I, I really, it, it's horribly illogical to say the least. Hey everyone, came home today to a package. I believe that this is from Crystal Free Shipping here on TikTok. Let's get it open and see what's in there. Okay, so I ordered this box 
or I placed this order on March 6th and it came today on the 22nd. However, I have another order that was from them that was placed on February the 13th that I still have not received. I reached out to their customer service and I didn't really get a good answer. So we'll see. All right, so not starting off good. This is the crystal lucky bag. I did have a lucky surprise table. That's not in this box. Um, so I'm not very hopeful at dealing with customer service based on my experience so far. Um, I did get a palm stone. This looks like maybe appetite. Um, I got a bracelet. It looks like maybe orange calcite and adventuring. A tower, which is resin with chips in it, which uh, this is probably just going to go in the garbage. Um, I don't like these resin towers at all. Um, also, a fish that's resin with uh, chips in it. and This is kind of cute. I might keep this one. Um, a little sphere. Just some, some little carvings. We've got a little skull. I bet that this is supposed to be quartz, but it really... That looks like glass to me, glass with an aura coating. So just very, very disappointed. So now with all this being said and showing off some customers, I'm one hoping that if you are someone who has been scammed by these businesses or anything else for that matter, please comment down below because I would love to see how many of you all that are finding me that have been scammed or experiencing this kind of stuff because like I would love to know the massive amounts because you know, trying to see how much how much is happening, how often, etc. But now I want to talk about some additional issues that are coming when it comes to this entire crystal live scam. So one of the first things that I noticed when it comes to the lives was I really feel like some of these crystals can be really damaged by the way that they are put in this sifting machine. So for example, some crystals from what I have looked into, they're not meant to be thrown around and scratched. Some are not meant to be in water. Some are not meant to be in sunlight, things like that. They can be damaged. And so with that, certain crystals need certain care. And the problem that I started noticing with that is with the amount of times that these crystals are being tumbled through or banging against each other or banging against the what salt or whatever the hell is in there that is the mixture that is covering most of them, I have a feeling that that is just da pre-damaging them already, which is giving me a huge red flag. So I feel like that's already setting people up already for failure because the amount of maybe the amount of shine that is being removed from some of these crystals, maybe broken pieces or just other damage to the crystals as a whole. I feel like it's just just messy and already not a good product to begin with. So it just doesn't look like something that is safe. And then also additionally, when someone's consistently like scooping out a bunch of and then tossing it back in, especially if they're not giving people their four orders. What I'm allegedly thinking is they're putting half of it back into the system and it just keeps banging around. So whatever people do get, I feel like it's not even quality or going to look good if they are decently good crystals by any means. Which leads to my next point is this is another major issue that people have come across is the fact that some of these crystals are either fake or horrible. So what I mean by this is there's some crystals where and I've come across this many times before with my personal crystal shopping is there's some stores or places where they will actually have poor quality crystals, completely fake ones, and it's just ridiculous. And they will market it off falsely to you as a real crystal. So for example, you can get a piece of jade, but when you actually look at it, it is, yeah, printed or it is completely like glass, right? It's not actually a real piece. Or there's many people who have gotten resin crystals, apparently. Some people have gotten like salt pieces, even from what I have allegedly been hearing. Random items that can pretty much be made other like crafting materials, essentially, just to create the illusion and peace. Now, again, there's nothing wrong if you genuinely want something like that that's perfectly fine but my issue is when you're saying oh you can buy real crystals and when there's people who want real quality gorgeous crystals like for me I want to get the real I like the real sparkly stuff I don't want something that Bethany made that's fake okay I don't want to deal with that and when your marketing off is real and you're giving it fake that is just ridiculously misleading and then additionally it's upsetting to me how you want to have somebody spend $50 on a scoop, $40 of that. And majority of those crystals are fake. So from what my guess is, if I were to buy a bunch of random pebbles and shit off of Amazon, that'd be what, couple bucks, right? So they're making what, maybe $30 more in profit just from that alone. And the amount of products that they're actually giving you are not quality, they're horribly made. And they're just random plastic glass or just resin. Like that's just so ridiculous to me how you, like, you would feel comfortable doing that. And so again, I personally just think that they're charging a decent amount for shipping as well to get additional extra income, like saying, oh my God, it's going to be really heavy and we're going to charge you this much for shipping. And then it's really not that heavy to begin with because it's fake shit. 
at this point. And then another thing that irks me is the fact that there's even people who have gotten damaged packages, as if that couldn't get any worse now with getting fake things. They've gotten damaged packages, there's pieces that have been broken allegedly, and so much more. And this is just an overall nightmare. And then last but not least, I want to acknowledge something else as well that other people in this crystal community had a problem with is individuals who are selling the products who really have no product knowledge, which I completely agree with. I don't think you have to agree with all of the beliefs, for example, of crystals to maybe have some understanding and knowledge of what they are, the names of them, et cetera, and maybe their value. And so a big issue that a lot of crystal lives have been having is people who are on these lives marketing out these products or showing them off and talking about them. They have no product knowledge at all, which also means means that they have no concept of how to package it properly, how to make sure that it gets safely to the customer, which is a really big red flag. Because to me, I shouldn't be going on and talking about a product, for example, and just not having any sort of understanding about how to market it off properly. And then additionally, make sure I can get it safe to you. It just sounds like, again, a major cash grab, in my opinion, that has been happening a lot recently. And I just feel so bad for people who have been taken advantage of by this entire situation. So final thoughts here before we wrap up this entire video. I would like to say that I personally think again it is a cash grab for a majority of them but I also want to hop in and say that not all of them are like this there actually are legit really wonderful crystal companies who are doing stuff like this that are doing it ethically that are actually good companies and not just random ass companies that are popping them out of the blue with a kind of crystals just selling you glass at this point. You know what I mean? I think that these lives are pretty much a way of, again, sucking you into the app. And the more watch time that you are giving a lot of these lives, I do believe that the more it helps them get more engagement, which in my opinion can lead to more further scamming, which is really dangerous. And honestly, the TikTok is going to recommend these to you because there it's keeping you on the app longer. And I understand how addicting they are. But what I really recommend is for you to look into product reviews, maybe type up the company in the search engine on TikTok just to see what other other people are saying and just really look into the website what they have to offer because if they really don't have any sort of substance or any good areas for reviewing etc I feel like that is a really really big red flag in my opinion I just be really cautious and listen to other customers because they really could be saving you a ton of money and that's another sad thing that I would like to say is many people from what I have seen have lost a lot of money in this situation when they simply wanted some good product and for those of you who are watching and are kind of curious about like okay well what if I do want crystals but I want them at like a good quality I'm gonna to tell you right now I have actually been mainly shopping for my crystals through either small shops that I have been finding locally or on Etsy I have found incredible crystal shops through Etsy that have quality real crystals and you're supporting a small business. There's so many different places that you can shop from that are great. So I always recommend going to Etsy first because you can actually physically see one reviews, which is really helpful for your purchase. Two, you can actually physically see more close up clear images of the items. And it's a little bit easier, I think, to report some things that there ends up being a scam, which is great because with TikTok, they're not really great when it comes to the reporting system right now. And then last but not least to finish up this video, I want to say if you are someone that has been scammed by the Crystal Slives or anyone else for that matter, here is my recommendation for you and how to handle that. One, make sure to try and reach out to customer service just to give it a good shot. If nothing works with that and you are fighting and nothing happens, I really recommend you save all that information. You can either send it to your credit card company, your car company, banking, whatever the case may be. If it's through PayPal, you can report everything, but make sure you save every detail. So that way, if you do get a customer service rep who is asking you for information and proof, you have all of it right there. So that way they can really help you out in this situation. Additionally, I recommend you reporting the account and the lives as well if you do see them, if you are having a negative experience with the brand, and just per quickly type up a response to TikTok so that way at least there is something that is happening there. And also, if you are an individual who wants to talk about this publicly on TikTok, make a review publicly through a video, whatever the case may be, I just want to put some disclaimers out here. I am not a legal professional, but what I will say is it is not defamation if it is true. So if someone is threatening you and saying, oh, we're going to send so-and-so after you, if you are making an honest review with evidence and you are able to clearly display that, that is not defamation if it is true, okay? And then also additionally, if you are reviewing a company, you can share your opinions. Be very clear when you're sharing your opinions, but you absolutely can do both and share your evidence and then also have additional opinions if you feel like you need to. So those are kind of my recommendations when it comes to the situation. All I would like to say though is this is a bit of an alarming topic and I would love to dive into this further. So if you're coming across this, you've had experiences with this or you have any other information about these crystal scams, send it to my email at isabellamichellelanter at gmail.com so that way I can hopefully dive into it more a little bit on this channel. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see my angels in the next video. Bye!